Good evening, Master. Good evening. Hello, friend channel Norton. Let's send another message that I, Saint Germain, am transmitting in order for you to seek and to reach an evolution to the point in which you will manifest the process of levitation, materialization, and teleportation. This will consequently make people seek spiritual evolution. Even if we have said this before, it is important to remember that the purpose for you to be able to achieve these processes, and we will focus initially on levitation, is to draw the attention of human beings. Just like Jesus Christ had the attention of people due to his healings, you will lead the way through levitation. In this way, you will be drawing humanity's attention to the messages that we beings of light will have to transmit. So, through levitation, many things will change. The way of transportation as a whole, the means of transportation, will become outdated. Highways will become obsolete and many things will modify. You already know this, Master Tanaka and Friend Channel. However, from time to time, it is important to mention this for the new fellow brothers who joined us to be aware of it as well. In the same way, with the new courses, with the new participants, information already communicated will have to be reaffirmed in order for everybody to have the same knowledge, in order for everyone to be on the same page. So it is essential that this information reaches the human beings who has joined us recently. The process of teleportation, materialization and levitation will deeply affect the day-to-day -day life of the ones who are vibrating positively. Within this higher vibration, many material things won't be necessary any longer. Cars won't be needed anymore as well as any concern about earning money, since materialization will provide everything essential to sustain life, and teleportation will considerably reduce time spent to go from one place to another. In this way, the average human beings will also seek spiritual evolution, and higher vibration in order to be able to achieve these processes in a distinguished way, in a privileged way, in the new age, in the new dimension. The current ambition of human beings to have power, to have money, and everything else that money can bring will no longer be the same. The ambition of the average human being will be to vibrate at high frequencies to achieve these processes. Consequently, more and more people will seek spiritual evolution and in a near future, all human beings will be able to reach a high vibrational level. Planet Earth will then experience the full benefits of living in a dimension where there will be unconditional love. Because only through unconditional love, there are really high vibrations. It is through unconditional love that it will be possible for human beings to be able to do these processes, which will make life 
be so much easier, which will completely change life here in this new age. With the relentless pursuit of the highest vibration, the planet will make a huge leap and will really cease to be a planet of atonements and become a planet of regeneration, of continuous search for the highest vibration. Consequently, many people will break the cycle of birth and disembodiment, endless births and disembodiments, due to not fulfilling the objectives established in the reincarnation plan. People will be born, they will understand their goals, they will fulfill their goals, and in this way, they will be closer to the spiritual ascension. Thus, it won't be necessary anymore to reincarnate on planet Earth. And actually, greater goals will be pursued on the spiritual plane. This is the future of humanity. This is the vision we, beings of light, have in the long term for the material plane, for the planet Earth. The truth, as already mentioned and shown to Master Tanaka, is that we are in a transitory period of about 10 to 15 years, in which only some human beings with a greater capacity will reach the appropriate vibrational level to achieve these three processes. These will be the ones who will lead this new age. Politicians, great leaders, great leaders of great nations will lose their masks and the truth will come out and nothing else will be hidden. Therefore, in order to be recognized and to maintain within a leadership position, these leaders will have to sustain the truth, nothing but the truth. Human beings will know the individual truths of these leaders and will no longer allow themselves to be commanded by someone who seek to deceive them, seek power for power, the power to sustain their egos, to achieve their individual goals. The truth will come out and human beings with a much greater degree of maturity will know how to recognize it in every person. They will distinguish the real leaders and that group of individuals who only seek power, only seek personal advantages, only seek to sustain their egos and do not have the smallest interest in collective issues, in the well-being of human beings. Consequently, more and more the leadership of the great nations will possess a completely different profile. The great nation's leadership will gradually change. Great political and religious figures of today will no longer have room. By vibrating egoistic energy, they seek only the satisfaction of elite groups or minorities instead of really caring for the public things and addressing the main needs of the vast majority of people. These are the steps for the changes of the new age. Little by little, the truths will be revealed in our daily lives 
the lies will no longer have space. Lies brought by the ego of each person. Lies that have been manipulated by beings from the low astral planes for such a long time. Progressively, the world will become fairer. More and more people will have a common sense of justice that will no longer allow them to be deceived. This will be the beginning of a different world. For this to happen, it is necessary for you, special human beings, to be alert. Do not allow injustices. Be aware and vigilant to understand the truths and act in a fair way so that you are no longer manipulated. Serve the other who should also aim to vibrate as you, understanding what is true and what is false. Intuitions will arise and they will review the negative and the positive aspects of great leaders. The collective consciousness must constantly grow larger and larger, and this coming together of positive energy forces in an ever-evolving magnitude will make all the truths be revealed. It will be a time of great changes. It will be a time when intuitions will speak even louder than some facts fabricated to deceive you. Some groups of people with the power of communication, with the power of the media, will no longer influence you, special human beings. The intuition will speak louder than the facts shown and displayed through the media. It is essential for every one of you to be vigilant, alert to your intuitions. They must be followed so that the great leaders are truly selected. When selecting your leaders, the ones you will follow, the ones you will give the power to, choose through intuition. You will know what to do when you hear the voice from within your hearts. Vibrate positively. Think and make your choices through intuition, through your inner voice coming from deep within your heart coming from no one other than your threefold flame, which is the energy of God, which is the energy of divine love, of divine wisdom, of divine power. Be vigilant, be more and more connected to the spiritual plane through the amplification of your tube of light. May you be more and more connected to your intuitions. Very well, Master Tanaka, Friend Channel, and our friends, special human beings. I hope you hear this message once, twice, three times, and absorb it, its content and record it in your mind so that your decisions are as accurate as possible. Have a great week, everyone. So be it. Thank God. Thank God.